Visit any coastal beach on the ocean and you might find plastic, a lot of plastic. And when you see it lying there, you might wonder where it came from or where it ends up if it's washed back out to sea. Scientists are wondering that too. Turns out plastic in the ocean can travel almost anywhere given enough time, even all the way up to the Arctic. Let's find out how it might get there. The ocean is on constant spin cycle, powered by the sun, the tides, the wind, the Earth's rotation, the surrounding land masses, the continents, and variations in water density. When a piece of plastic finds its way into the ocean, there's a lot of things that could happen. It might get washed back to shore and end up as beach plastic, or an animal like an albatross or a sea turtle might eat it, mistaking it for their natural prey. But what happens if the wind and the currents take it further out to sea? Far away from land, the piece of plastic encounters what's called a gyre. It's a circulating whirlpool created by the Earth's rotation and global wind patterns, found in all five major oceans. There's the North Pacific and South Pacific gyres, the North Atlantic and South Atlantic gyres, and the Indian Ocean gyre. At the center of these gyres where this plastic collects are where you get these massive garbage patches that you've probably heard of. One square kilometer in these areas can contain over half a million pieces of plastic. The plastic might spin for months or years before some water variation or a storm spits it out. Depending on which gyre our plastic finds itself in, it could end up in the Gulf Stream along the east coast of North America, which travels all the way up into the Arctic. Now here is where the hot, salty seawater from the Gulf gets colder, saltier, and denser, sinking down into the depths of the Arctic and bringing our plastic with it. This is the end of the so-called global conveyor belt. A recent study found that the Arctic has become a major sink for old, weather-beaten plastic that sailed thousands of kilometers, far from any pollution sources. So next time you're at the beach with your friends and see a piece of plastic in the sand, pick it up and put it in the recycling bin where it belongs. Otherwise, it could end up polluting somewhere as remote as the Arctic. And now you know.